Today we're gonna have a look at my current everyday carry setup. My last EDC video was over a year ago, so I thought it was about time for an update. Times are obviously a little bit different right now than they were a year ago. I'm leaving the house less. I actually moved to a different city, so I have a new set of keys. I have added, removed, and swapped out a couple things, so I'm excited to show you guys what's changed. As always, I will link to everything that you see in the video down below in the description, so be sure to check that out. All right, first up, we have my phone. Now, I switched from the iPhone 10 to the iPhone SE 2, which, depending on how you look at it, is either an upgrade or a downgrade. I much prefer the size of this phone to the iPhone 10. It feels a lot better in my hand, but to be honest, this is probably the buggiest iPhone that I've had. It doesn't really feel like a flagship product in the same way that the iPhone 10 did. And I actually think the name SE2 is super misleading on Apple's part. It's not the same as the old SE. It really just feels like an iPhone 8. I do like the smaller size. I just kind of wish it was a better phone. Also, I've already cracked this phone, which I swear, I never used to drop my phones, and my last two, I have cracked the screens, so maybe I need to start using a case or something, or maybe this is just my subconscious saying that I don't really want this phone. Anyway, I'll probably try the 12 mini one day, but, you know, this phone still works fine, so I'm in no rush. Speaking of handing over all my hard-earned money to Apple, I did upgrade to the AirPods Pro. Unlike the SE2, these are definitely superior to their predecessor. Now, I've always loved the AirPods, and I know they're not the best sounding earbuds in the world, but they really do work well, and I just use them so much that even though they're a little bit pricey, they're just worth it for me because I'm using them every day. I think the big difference between these and the regular AirPods are the active noise cancellation. I've never had noise canceling headphones, so... It's pretty cool. And then they also have this transparency mode where they have a little mic that lets in outside noise. So it's kind of like the opposite of noise cancellation. Anyway, these have been great for taking work calls, listening to podcasts, listening to music while I work out. And I think they're gonna be great for airplane travel too. All right, next up, let's talk about the keys. Now I've tried a lot of different ways to carry keys. I did a whole video a while back about key organizers. And it's funny, after trying out all of these different key organizers, I ended up actually using just a simple carabiner. These days I only have three things on my carabiner. I have my house key, just one house key, a car key, it's an old car, so no fob, and a small pocket knife. This is the Spyderco Bug. And it's all on this super minimal carabiner from Wesson. It's just one piece of metal, there's no extra components, so super minimal, very easy to clip and unclip from your belt loop. It also just feels very premium, it's a very cool brand, it looks nice, and I've really been enjoying it. And as much as I enjoyed some of the key organizers out there, I feel like the best solution for keys, at least for me, is just getting them out of your pocket. So it's not figuring out a way to wrap them and keep them in your pocket, but it's just removing them from your pockets entirely. And I think the carabiner is the best way to do that. Now, this little knife is the smallest keychain knife that I could find. It's really well built and it serves my purposes, which is basically just opening packages. Now I've tried other small EDC knives like this one from Wesson and this one from Kershaw, both great little knives, but for carrying it on a keychain, you really can't beat this size. I mean, it's just tiny. So as much as I like these other knives, I mean, it's just a much bigger knife than this little Spyderco bug. And I don't think realistically I would actually carry this on my keychain. So this is the best keychain knife that I've found so far. Okay, for my wallet, I've gone back to the Anson Calder card wallet, and this is the version with the cash slot in the front. For a long time, I was using their slightly larger cash wallet. Well, it used to be called the cash wallet. Now it's just called the card wallet with cash pocket, I believe. It's also a great wallet, but this one is just slightly lower profile, and it's amazing how much you can fit in this. And I've tried so many different slim, minimal wallets, and I keep coming back to Anson Calder. Honestly, I get emails from minimal wallet brands every week and I try a lot of them out and they all feel oversized compared to this little guy. So it's expensive, but it is premium. It lasts a long time and I highly recommend it if you have the budget. Okay, let's talk watches. In my last EDC update, my daily driver was the Rolex Oyster Date 34 millimeter with the gray dial. I really loved that watch, but I did end up selling it 
and I'm currently wearing the 36 millimeter Explorer Reference 114270. This is pretty much the perfect watch in my opinion, especially if your style is somewhat casual. Even if you just wanna own one watch, I think this would be a great choice. Black dial, it's clean aesthetic, 36 millimeter size. It's well built, it goes with any outfit and it's new to me, but I've really been enjoying it over the past few weeks. If you wanna see the buying process for this watch, along with an unboxing and a little review, I'll link to that video down below in the description. Now, along with this watch, my other daily accessories are my wedding band and then this little two millimeter box chain a silver bracelet. They're all silver tone. I think they all look really good together. And yeah, it's basically what I'm wearing all the time. Now, I have been test driving an aura ring recently and it's a really cool little piece of technology but i've found that i don't like wearing both <laughs> you know it's it's a little too much so sometimes i'll take my wedding band off and i'll just wear the aura ring but i found that it's just a little bit bulky you know it's it's a little bit thick and compared to a wedding band, it's just very noticeable. And I kind of feel it as I'm like typing and using my hands throughout the day. So I've actually ended up mostly wearing this at night just to track my sleep, which is sort of the main benefit of the Aura Ring anyway. But if they did make a lower profile, like slimmer version of the Aura Ring in the future, I could definitely see myself wearing it 24 seven. Of course, I still carry a pair of sunglasses whenever I leave the house. These are from Christopher Kluse, actually my old pair from them just broke one of the arms just kind of fell off which was kind of strange because you know they're supposed to be pretty high quality sunglasses but anyway i've been wearing this replacement pair i think with sunglasses it doesn't really matter like the brand or the price or anything else it, it really matters that you find the right pair for your face and for me you know this is just the right kind of width and shape for my face so i think that's sort of the most important factor when you're choosing sunglasses these ones are good for me for now. And then finally, of course, whenever I leave the house these days, I bring a mask. So I've tried a bunch of different masks at this point. Some of my favorites are actually just these little handmade ones from a friend up in New York. I have a few of these and I really like them, but I have tried a couple from brands that you could check out. The first one is from Hook and Albert and it's very minimal. And I just like the shape of it. I feel like a ninja wearing this thing. It's comfortable, very minimal design with this center seam and high quality. So I've washed it a couple times. It's held up just fine. And the second one is from Buck Mason. And I like this design because it ties around the back of your neck. And so that means you can put it on around your ears and it's got these little adjustments and you can wear it. But then when you need to take it off for a second, you can just let it hang around your neck kind of like a necklace. So very convenient, love the form factor of this one. They're both great, but you know, there are plenty of masks out there. So obviously do your own research, get one that you think is comfortable and safe. So that's what I'm carrying with me these days. And of course I'll keep you updated as my EDC evolves over time. And I'd love to hear from you. You know, what's something that you've picked up recently that you've included in your everyday carry that you're absolutely loving? Let me know down in the comments section. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments. Thank you as always for watching. And until next time, stay stylish.